The Chelmsford For You podcast in association with Radio Chelmsford. Get involved, comment, like and share. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, beautiful people of Chelmsford. It's me, Will Richards and... Sarah Tupper. Back once again, but this time with an audio podcast, because we'll be honest, you don't want to see us right now. Lockdown got to us Lockdown all. Lockdown has got to us pretty harshly. I've not had a haircut in, I think it's 13 years now, is it? I think around 13 years. A long time. Yeah. And Looks I mean, <laughs> I can't speak for you, Sarah. You you say what you want about yourself. I look great, but Will made me not. <laughs> No, so we're here to talk about all things that are going on, but the silver lining of it all, the, not not the negative side. We've heard way too much about that. We want to talk about the things we can look, we're looking forward to, yeah. the things that you can still do. Cause Post still... lockdown dreaming. Exactly. Post lockdown dreaming. That's like a really good song. <laughs> Ed Sheeran will release that in six weeks. You can feel it coming, can't you? After copyright Glow. it. Yeah, exactly. Do it. Because otherwise old Eddie boy is going to make millions again. Um, but yeah, there's still a million things that you can do. Um, slight exaggeration, but there's still a lot of <laughs> businesses that are open legally, within restrictions, within guidelines, and doing a great job of it as well. Yeah, definitely. So, Sarah, we have plenty of places still open that we can. I've visited a few myself. I'm pretty sure you probably have. Uh, Fate Grey's Yard. Oh yes, great have a coffee. coffee from there. Great coffee. <laughs> well done, guys. Great coffee, <laughs> and also they do a Nutella cornflake French toast. Oh, Unbelievable. I haven't had that. It's amazing. Honestly, I highly recommend it. Also, A Canteen, they're doing some takeaway stuff and deliveries as well now. Yeah, I saw they have extended their delivery radius to five miles I, now. I saw that as well. I'm well within it. So. Oh, I fall, fall just out of it. But Click and Collect is still available. Yes, and also, <laughs> just reminded me, Click and Collect, back in time. I'm having one tonight. Oh, nice. Like, seriously, I'm, I'm actually going to have one tonight. I love back in time. Do you know what? They Always are... takes me back in time. Oh, God. They are just the epitome of a successful independent business. They are, but we saved them for like thirty years. We saved them because yeah, about how rough have they gone through it recently? They had about four months, five months before COVID, maybe less. They they, were fighting planning, weren't they? From the landlord, I think he was he was stitching them up. But hopefully, he saw he did see sense. And uh, no disrespect if you're listening, but he, <laughs> he saw sense and, and let them let them be, which Back is great. Back in time is saved. Yeah. The train is saved. Oh, isn't it amazing? That train has been running for years. And I did read a story about it. And you're going to ruin everyone's dreams No, no, now, no, 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 no. It's, <laughs> it is very much so the, um, you know, Boise, not Boise, um, Trigger from Only Falls and Horses, the, right. the, the broomstick. He's had the same broom for 20 years. It's had 14 different heads and 17 different handles. <laughs> and it's kind of very much the same story with the train. I thought when I first saw the title of this article that it was the same train that's been running for 30 years. Like, not constantly. They turn it off at night, obviously. But it's the same one. But no, they change it like once a month. <laughs> There's been hundreds of trains. Yeah, I think you've you've just shattered everybody's dreams. Literally. I'm this sorry, is guys. The, this is the end of the Jumps of Bee podcast. <laughs> we're, we're, no we're, businesses will ever want to be featured. We're completely done. <laughs> we're completely done. No, but I still love it. Back in time. There oh What's your favourite thing on the menu for Hands there? Hands Blue. Is that what it's called? Hands off. Hands off. H <laughs> A N S. And it's a blue cheeseburger and it's absolutely beautiful. I don't think that you can beat the starter Brie Bopalula. That's the <laughs> is that the deep fried deep fried brie. Jody loves it. Any kind of deep fried cheese mm. is a winner with me. Well, I think, and, it's a winner and with that's everyone. probably why um, we're not we're not doing video podcasting <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we're just on audio. Oh, I can't get up. <laughs> Too much cheese. <laughs> Too much cheese. <laughs> Um, also, I'm just trying to list through the things that I've personally been to. Um, I'll get round to everyone. If I've forgotten any, let us know, because we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that we take a safe, essential trip to you as well. Um, but Cafe in the Park. Yes. That, that is essential, I think. What do you, what do you mean? Getting a hot chocolate? Hot chocolate coffee, because there's some great walks from Central Park. Oh, walking's essential. And it's essential, and it's just right to... Is to stop off and get a coffee on the way. 100%. They do in there, they do a Cadbury's hot chocolate and then you get whipped cream on top. Don't do that again. And then the <laughs> sound effects. I do my own sound effects. Do you want to yeah, do it again? 
There you go. That and does then, actually sound like thank you. Squirty Queen. Exactly. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to interrupt with a really important question. Mm. Galaxy or Cadbury's? Oh, goodness me. Which one? Because, I mean, are you talking about the original dairy milk? Because you yeah. said Cadbury's. Okay, Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate uh, mm-hmm. or Galaxy bar. Well, which one? Just any of them. They're all the same chocolate. No, no, no. Galaxy milk. There's Ripple. There's Galaxy dark milk. Okay, Galaxy milk. If it was Cadbury's Galaxy, dairy milk mm. or Galaxy milk. If that's the straight question, I go straight away, without a doubt, Galaxy. Yeah, 100%. Glad we agree on that. Because we we about fight. the only thing. Yeah, yeah. Which chocolate? And another reason we're not doing a video <laughs> podcast this time. Cheese and chocolate. <laughs> we can't get a camera big enough. <laughs> we can't fit in the lens. Um, anyway, yeah. So beautiful walks in the park. I'm yes. I'm very fortunate to live on the doorstep of Central Park. Um, cafe in the park is beautiful because you grab yourself a little hot chocolate or a coffee. The coffee's great as well. They do some sandwiches. When we were allowed to eat, obviously. When we were allowed to eat. Out, I mean, <laughs> eat out. Not that you eat out to help out, just, you know, you could only eat if you sat outside, etc. It was beautiful. Sat in the autumn sun. Lovely. Watching the lake pass over itself. That's the fountain. Watching trains go by. <laughs> the romance of trains. Oh, that one, yes, that's a freight train. Lovely. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why uh, why we ever asked you to do this podcast. Yeah, I understand. But anyway, the point I was making is it's all part of an essential journey. You can then go for a walk. I do a walk that goes from Central Park to Admirals Park into Rittle. Nice. And then loop back round. It's about, I base it on steps. It's yep. got a Fitbit, you see. Uh, about 10 to 12,000. We've done it. We have. We've done the. We've done that walk. 12,000 steps, I reckon. It's where we come up with our best ideas. Yeah, out as you in can the see, country air. quite a short walk. <laughs> <laughs> what is the purpose? They can't see. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Also, mm. I've got a big question for you. You asked me a huge question, dairy milk m- milk, dairy milk, milk, or ca- uh, galaxy milk. I think we can just abbreviate it to Cadbury's or Galaxy. I don't know. You that. complicated that. How are you saying Cadbury's? That's like saying what car do you prefer, Vauxhall or Ford? I think that's a valid question. No, it isn't. They're brands. They make hundreds of different cars. Oh, whatever. What's no, your not big whatever. Important question? No, I'm not letting that pass. You can't just say Cadbury's. They make twirl. What are they called? No. Curly Whirlies. That's it. Do you want a Curly Whirly? Cadbury's make Curly Whirlies, yeah. Oh. Well, Cadbury's that's got make... caramel. That's not just Cadbury's chocolate. Cadbury's chocolate is not a category. I think that we've taken this too far. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried? Oh, I'm going to forget the name of it now. There's a new independent brand of chocolate that's come out. Tony's. No, never heard of it. Oh, uh, it was in M&S recently, I think, and it's got really unique labelling. Mm. Like it's kind of like kids' cartoon writing sort of thing. And apparently, it's amazing. Whatever happened to Willie's? Do you remember that? Nope. Remember the TV show on Channel Four, Willie's Chocolate Factory? No. You never I, watched that? No, I literally don't know what you're talking about. It was made in the very same way that we saw. What's the name of it now? The castle with with Willie and... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? No. The series on Channel 4. Honestly, I've got no idea what you're talking Escape about. Escape to the Chateau. Oh, right. Yeah, so it's made by, I think, the same production company and team that, that did Willie's Chocolate. Um, I can't remember the life of me, what it was called. Comment below if you remember it. Willie's Chocolate Factory, I think it was called. Because the guy's name was Willie. Okay. And he made a chocolate factory in just like an old warehouse. Created his own chocolate. Started in his kitchen. And yeah, now it's sold in M&S, your waitress. It's posh stuff, yeah. Is it? Right. It's probably why I don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Aldi's right own. Gear. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't knock it. No, I love like the stuff. it. I love the stuff. I rate Aldi very highly. Same. I started out with Lidl, though. Did you? Mm. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Aldi. <laughs> middle aisle. Middle aisle madness. That's the only highlight I have during lockdown. Going to the middle aisle at Aldi. Going to the middle aisle, coming out with an inflatable crocodile, a bike pump, and 14 cans of non-alcoholic cider. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise they were. I got home fuming. It doesn't matter. Uh, I, I went to Aldi, actually, to do the food shop earlier today, and they were selling heated Lazy Susans, which was very tempting. Wait. Lazy Susan, the spinning table. Yeah. Lazy, heated. I know. Revolutionary. Well, obviously. Do you see what he <laughs> did there? Revolutionary. A circle makes revolutions. 
Okay. Okay, we've lost it, guys. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. No, but how I think question. we've lost a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> Listeners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're gonna love this one. Um yeah. no, seriously, how can it how is a lazy do you put raw not raw, but like food directly onto it? No. So how does it heat then? I think it's just like a hot plate that's a lazy Susan. So you put your hot food in bowls or plates or whatever and it keeps it warm. That's what I understand. Look, I love product. Audi, but that sounds pointless. You get your Why? sausage casserole out of your your slow cooker. I made one like that the other day. Or of the oven and pop it on a Lazy Susan. That container it's in will keep it hotter than a Lazy Susan will. Well, that's only if you're doing it in a casserole dish. What if you've just put some, you know, some little nuggets or buffet food that you want to keep warm? But you have to, the bowl needs to be warm, right? That the nuggets are going into. What's going on? I don't Where, know. How have we got here? I don't know. Nuggets. Anyway, so going back to what we're saying, we were talking about Cafe in the Park. Yeah. Essential walks. And you asked me the big question, Dairy Milk or Galaxy. I answered Galaxy, obviously. Yeah. But I've got a big question for you. Okay, go on. What is the first restaurant? <gasps> yeah. I know what you're going to ask here. That you're going to go to as soon as we're allowed. Okay, this is a tough one. Mm. Because I think my first choice... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. My first choice would be Moto Pizza. Oh, okay. Okay. That's... Which is very lucky that they are offering click and collect during lockdown are you anyway. A Might be. Yeah. <laughs> Another it, reason. We're not, do? doing, we're not doing a visual podcast. But I will still choose them, even though I've been, been eating them during lockdown. Mm-hmm. I think I would still choose them as my first restaurant. We went on back. one of our first business lunches together uh, to there and we had... We did. My favourite was broccoli and sausage. Nobody I told would... you that. Yeah. yeah no, you You'd did, you never did. been before, had you? And That's I was like, oh, first... we've got to go. They do sausage and broccoli pizza. And you, you looked at me like I was mental. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I still to this day think that, but not because of the sausage and broccoli pizza. <laughs> now that's that's been validated. <laughs> Not on, one year on. You tell me, find me a person that's not been to Moto Pizza that's ever gone, what should I put on that pizza, mate? Pepperoni, no, 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 no. Sausage and broccoli. Mental, but it's unbelievable. It really is. Ask me the same question then. Okay. What's your... Slow it down. Make it more dramatic. What would your first restaurant of choice be mm. after lockdown? I don't know, really. No, <laughs> no I, I will say straight away, because it's a popular spot for us. Okay. Uh, that is Il Palazzo. Oh, lovely. At the top of Coval Lane, Civic yeah. Theatre Road, Duke Street, T-Junction there. One, because uh, independent. Yeah. As is Moto Pizza. Exactly. So, hashtag support local, support independent. And two, because it's just around the corner. <laughs> no, but we abs- we go there once a week when we could. Yeah. Once a week. Um, and they know what we like. Always the same wine. Uh, amazing. Honestly, I Red adore or white. it. white? White. I'm a white drinker. Mm. White wine. I like... Do you know what? I went through a phase of all your Sauvignon Blancs, your Marlboros, all yeah. your fancy stuff. Your Oyster Bay. I used to drink that. Like, it was tap water. Mm. That sounds bad. I don't mean it in that way. <laughs> but I used to enjoy Wake it. Wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't drink white wine unless it was Oyster Bay. But now, much prefer my favourite wine, Tesco's finest, Pinot Grigio. Mm. Trentino, unbelievable. In fact, it doesn't have to be Tesco's finest. Trentino is actually a Pinot Grigio wine, a, a region of Italy somewhere. There you go. Which is amazing. But yeah, that's amazing. Um, second question. Outside, <clears throat> sorry, drama. Okay. Outside of going to a restaurant, what's the first thing you're going to do as soon as you can when lockdown depletes? When lockdown depletes? When it okay, disappears. what's the first thing I'm going to do? I I think I'm just going to go completely standard and go see my family. Oh, no, you've made me sound <laughs> awful. That's t- See, I've gone Il Palazzo and you're like... No, because that question was the first restaurant you're going to go to. Yeah, I mean, truthfully, though, my head was like, right, OK, she might be saying Everyman Cinema, she might be saying um, City Bowl. Oh, I lo- have you been City Bowl? I have, actually. Unbelievable. I think it's brilliant there. Phenomenal. Love City Bowl. Hats off to him. Great hot dog and all. Yeah, I like the food there. Mm. Lovely. It's lovely. Anyway, y- you've made me sound heartless. No, 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 no. I, you put me on the spot there. Mm. And the, obviously the first thing that came to mind was uh, seeing family. Yeah. But I do think I just want to go back into like a gym or a workout. Oh. Like in person. See, now I appreciate that. Because 
I never used to like exercise. You may find that very hard to believe. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. <laughs> I, I was just never this person that understood the like addiction that people get from exercise and yeah. fitness and all of that. However, during lockdown one, um, I I joined an online fitness class thing and well, give them a shout out. Then. Look back, it is LKB Fitness. A lady called Laura Bannister from Southwood and Ferrers, and uh, yeah, I think her. Her Facebook group, LKB, Fit, Fab and Focused. But she has done amazing. And it actually changed my view on fitness and exercise. I like it now. Although we're not doing a video podcast because of all the pizzas and chocolate and stuff. That's all That's all just a ruse. We're surrounded by pizza and chocolate right now. <laughs> what you can't see is the motor pizza boxes in the corner. <laughs> No, so um, do you want to ask me the same question then? If I have to, what are you going to do? That was it. Is that all <laughs> I get? Oh, you want drama, don't you? Yes, please. William. Oh, first name, full name. What is the first thing that you are going to do as soon as you are See released your into See the family? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't let me finish. Yeah, well, I mean, look. As soon as you're released into the wild. The wild? <laughs> oh, my dog. Don't um, you like to say? No, I don't have the same level of respect that dogs have. <laughs> I don't. And I understand that. Um, no, what, obviously, like you said, see my family, that's one of the most important things, of course. But I'll be doing this with them, Yeah, I believe. On. And it will be something like uh, local independent enjoyment. So whether it's going to see a show or going to see, you know, Civic Theatre, Kales put shows on, Reject Theatre Company put shows on, yeah. um, or going to City Bowl, something so simple as that, or something that completely sort of changes it up is I'd like to, because I did this when we had the break between lockdown one and two, mm. <laughs> if you can remember that part. <laughs> the summer of our lives. The summer of our Rule lives. Rule of six, people. <laughs> yeah. We managed to get away and go for a short a week in Norfolk. Lovely. Now, there's not much to do up there because everything was shut. It's the beauty of it. The fact that I had nothing to do, I could get up. We had a pool, so I could go nice. and get the swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. It sounds... Don't get me wrong. I know it sounds extremely fancy. It was just your average... Did you go with all your family? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, no, no. Me and the missus and her step uh, mum and stepdad. Yeah. So, yeah, indirectly. And, yeah, it, it was a beautiful little cottage. Well, it was a barn converted into, like, five or six cottages, mm -hmm. all connected. And they were, they were lovely. And we had horses out the back. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you got in the back door every morning, you could have a chat with them. Morning, mate. You are all right? <clears throat> you know? <laughs> Those sound effects again. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what you said to me every morning. Uh, and then we had a pool. So I used to get, I'm an early riser, as you know, with the radio show. Oh, um, are, you, are you a breakfast show presenter? Have I not told you, Sarah? <laughs> I, don't oh. think, I don't think you've mentioned it. Have I not mentioned the beat of the city? <laughs> the beat of the city, Radio Chumpsford weekdays from 6am, Saturdays from 8am. You could be joining me, Will Richards, on Radio Chumpsford, to listen in to the good vibes and the good music. Is that good enough? It is. Yeah. And if anyone would like to know... Radio Chelmsford, kindly sponsor the Chelmsford For You podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know why. Nothing to do with us two being on it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. And then I get down in the morning, grab myself a coffee, go outside, get some crisp, fresh air. Now, on the topic of what we can do mm -hmm. when we resume normality or yeah. some form of. When we're released. When we're released <laughs> into the wild, when we're uncaged. Yeah. The, one of the first things I'm going to do is most definitely go and see my barber. I think that's a really good idea. Well, no, don't. <laughs> that's the only reason you told me to say that, isn't it? <laughs> Lined me up. No, I don't. I don't. Um, I don't. I don't mind having longer hair. It's that it's unstylable now. Yeah, it's gone too far. It's gone too far. And my barber, I'm going to shout him out. Go ben on. Wanless. Where from? Man about town. Oh, they're um, on the corner, aren't they? Yeah. Of Baddow Road. No. No, New London Road. That's the one. Yeah. Man About Town, New London Road, opposite Olio, opposite yes. the gym. And they are unbelievable. And Ben has been cutting my hair for years now, and he always does a magic job, as you can tell. I, I mean, just look at the pictures of me. really good things about there, actually. It is phenomenal. You should get yours done there. I don't know if they dye hair, though. What are you talking about? This is all natural. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, the greys are natural. I think we're actually really lucky in Chelmsford because we've got some amazing hairdressers here. It's not often, now you are right, it's not often you find so many good barbershops. 
or hairdressers. Or sorry, yeah, they that I cl- I class them as the same. <laughs> we've, we've got we've got the Strand. Yeah. We've got um, L- Luna at Molsham Street. L- Lima. Is Lima, it? Lima hair, Lima, Lima hair. hair. Yeah. Um, we have Reese Bude Barbershop. Yes, again, that's another one that I've heard very good things about. Yeah. Man About Town, obviously, we mentioned yeah. already. Silhouette de Barry. Silhouette de Barry, Tony and Guy. Yeah. Unbelievable. My mum used to do Saturdays at Silhouette de Barry. She, she wasn't a hairdresser, she was just a, on the reception. I think she quite enjoyed passing the time with it. Look at it's it now. really haircut. just played your mum down there. What she wasn't mean? a hairdresser, she was just some of the well, she, I mean, she couldn't cut hair. <laughs> she would never claim to cut hair if she couldn't. Imagine that. What have you been up to this weekend, Mum? Well, I've been pretending I'm a hairdresser. <laughs> I don't know. I've had my hair cut by some people over the years. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. It could be. Was um, it your mother? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It, well, I don't know. It could have been. It could have been. I tell you what I used to go to all the time. There was a hairdresser called Harlequins above the quadrant years and years and years ago. That is going back. Very long time ago. Obviously, I was very young, so I don't really remember. I, I'm more so told about it. <laughs> so young. I must have been two, Do you know years what? Old. I can't even remember where I used to have my hair cut when I was little. However, my daughter, my oldest daughter, she's seven now, but the first ever haircut that she had, we took her to get a fringe cut in Tony and Guy in Chelmsford. Oh, that's sweet. And my husband will never forgive me. Why? Because she basically had a bowl cut. (laughs) Oh, right. She didn't have long enough hair at the back. No, she well, she just had this awful little like wispy hair that used to go into her eyes because it was all down the front. And I got so fed up with it that um, I took her into Tony and Guy and basically told them to just give her a fringe. Who did it, Tony or Guy? Uh, Guy. Really? <laughs> I don't believe you for a second. Such a terrible joke. Yeah, I know. It's awful, <laughs> isn't it? But hey, it is what it is. What can you do? Um, also, I'm going to get my hair cut as soon as I can. Again, I'm going to say it's a very good idea. Yeah, thanks. I probably will do the same. I will be getting my hair done. But, but there's more things for you to do than right. there is me. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, I, don't, <laughs> I don't mean you need it. I mean it's more accessible things. There's a lot more work that you need. <laughs> <laughs> but mm. maybe I probably will go get my nails done. I do find that a bit of a luxury and it's not something that normally I would have done regularly. However... I think I'm going to treat myself to get my nails well, done. Well, you've been grafting, haven't you, in the kitchen? Hard graft. Grafting in the kitchen, you've been doing some DIY. Yeah, I, we actually have. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm saying oh, right. it. right, <laughs> okay. I thought you were just trying to be funny. No. Because it wasn't. I'm, <laughs> I've never done that. I've never tried. It just comes naturally. <laughs> no, so yeah, you, you deserve to. What are you going to get done? French Manny? Um, Peddy? I think I might go Manny Peddy. Do you know, I said something really awful once. I didn't mean to. I said to somebody, they just got the nails done. Yeah. And I just said, do the curtains match the carpets? Meaning, <laughs> meaning, do your fingernails, have you also had the same done on your toenails? That's not how you say that, though, is Well, it? I know that now. <laughs> I know that now. But that's... That was the first phrase that came to mind. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't, actually. It was um, carpets match the drapes or something, the very Americanized version of it. I can't remember drapes. what it was. Drapes. Yeah, yeah. I heard that recently in Friends. I've been watching a lot on Netflix <laughs> because I've got a lot of spare time. Haven't I you? haven't actually. I really haven't. The lockdown's made me busier. But you know why? It's because work is, a lot of businesses and brands have now realised that work from home works well. Yeah. So, I think people are more productive 100%, a lot of the time. 100%. It depends because there are, there are people out there who just can't work from home. I know some people that really struggle with it particularly I don't know if you're living in a flat or you might still be living at home with your parents and the only option you've got of working from home is literally a desk in your bedroom yeah no I understand I understand right let's move on to more things that you're going to do um post lockdown I will tell you what I want to do post lockdown I am a massive fan of escape rooms Oh, okay. And I really, I'm missing going to them. I love them. Have you been to Chelmsford Escape Room yet? Yeah. There's a new one opening soon. It's already open. Well, mm, obviously no. not at the moment. There's a new one open. Okay. New, new. What, a third one? Where's the first two? Well, the first one is the Chelmsford Escape Rooms at Molsham Mill. Okay, it's the third one then. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I forgot about that one. And the second one is up by the train station. Yeah. Escape Live. Yeah, so Escape Live I know about. I've been in there. I've sat. I didn't do the escape room. I went to have a chat with them about their place and it's beautiful. And I sat in their Game of Thrones chair. 
Nice. I'll try and find it and put the picture on this. It's beautiful. It's an amazing setup. They put, like, it's so professional. Yeah. Like, cinema standard. And then, obviously, you've got the Motion Mill one. Yeah. Which was, like, the first one in Chumpsford, I think. Yeah. And there's a third one coming. Okay. I don't think I can say it yet. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But what else? What other things are you looking forward to? I'll tell you something I'm looking forward to. Okay, I'll tell go you, on. I will tell you something that I am looking forward to doing as soon as we can get out of lockdown. What? Socialising. Yeah. And it's not just the pub. Obviously, the pub is a huge part of it for everyone, whether you drink or not, because you see people. But it's just genuinely socialising. So, Sarah, I've heard enough from you now. I don't I don't, need, no, I don't want to hear The feeling is mutual. <laughs> oh, understandable. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, um, we would like to hear from you. Yeah, you that's listening. We would like to hear what you're going to be up to and what you're looking forward to doing post-lockdown. Yes, definitely. There are so many things to do and we've thought of a few. Yes. But we know that there is a lot more out there and that I'm sure there's many things that you guys want to do as well. So let us know. Exactly. It's this simple. All we're asking you to do is either comment below things that you're looking forward to doing or comment below things you think we should do right now so that next time we come onto one of these podcasts, we can talk about that. Even and especially if it's your business because... We can help you. It's all about Chumpsford for you. Absolutely. See what I did there? That is, that's a real plug. Because that's the name of the whole brand, isn't yes, it? Yes. Chumpsford clever. for you. Chumpsford and I've said it in you. the podcast. It's like when you see the name of the movie in the movie. Okay. Anyway, yeah, let us know <laughs> in the comments below what you would like to see us talk about or hear us talk about and what you're looking forward to in the future of lockdown. And if you do have a local business, especially if you're a local independent business, reach out to us because we can most definitely help you. Isn't that right? Yes, definitely. And similarly, if you have a favourite local independent business that you really want to hear from, maybe you love going to a certain restaurant or a certain shop and you just want to know more about the people behind that business, then let us know. We can get in touch and get them onto the show for a chat. 100%. Featuring in next episode mm. is going to be all the businesses that have thrived and been established during the lockdowns. Yeah. Lockdowns, notice I say I that, know. plural. But yeah, so we're going to talk about those. So if you're one of those, let us know that you exist. If we, I'm sure we'll know already, but let us know that you exist. Scream your name to at us in the comments and we will get on to you and maybe have a chat with you in the ne next podcast. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, it's been amazing, Sarah. A pleasure as always. It has been indeed. But we do have one more question for the lovely listeners, don't we? We do. What would you like to hear us talk about in future? What would you like to see us talk about? Obviously, as soon as the situation allows us to, we'll be back on the visual podcasts. Yeah. But at the moment, we'll, we'll just be audio. Only audio until we could I'm get our lives back on track. <laughs> you, I'm sure you'll be able to find us on social media if you must stare. Well, if you must. If you really must. But yeah, let us know what you would like us to talk about if you would like your business featured on our podcast. We can have a chat with you, an interview, or just mention it if you're a bit shy. No problem at all. Reach out to us. Uh, Sarah's got the email address. Yeah, you can contact us on info at onechelmsford.co.uk and that's one chelmsford O-N-E. I'll write the spelling. The spelling. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, I don't, would Letters, anyone put the number? numbers. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But there's better safe it's than worth sorry. clarifying. 100%. So Info reach out to us. Info at onechumpsford.co.uk. There you go. There it is. Reach out to us if you've got anything you want to talk to us about, even it's just to compliment us on our dulcet tones. Very dulcet. Mm. <laughs> very dulcet is a... Yeah, anyway, I've never had that as a compliment before. I must say, young man, you're very dulcet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. Right. Well, that's all from us, isn't it? I think so. Thank you so much for tuning in. We Thank truly you. appreciate it. We'll we be back do. very soon. So With keep your ears peeled. I was going to say it doesn't really add up to that one, does it? No, don't say that. I've been Will Richards. And I've been Sarah Tupper. We'll catch you very soon. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe. And we love you all very dearly. Bye. Bye now. <laughs>